I, I'd love to believe that people will see this film and actually get excited about praying with each other. That it wouldn't just be this isolated, my relationship with God, but that they would actually long for and go, man, I would love, I would just love to pray with people that have this same mission. I want them excited to think, wow, there would be other people who are just as excited about the mission of God and just as excited about leading others to the Lord as I am. And the hope is, is that it encourages people, not that just to get alone in the morning by themselves, but really gather with like-minded people and, and expect God to answer their prayers. We're so accustomed to, to working harder and trying to figure things out on our own. It's what the world tells us. Just work harder, you can do it. And, and really the idea behind prayer is this humility. And there's such a rush. I, I, there's such a rush in prayer when you see an answer to prayer that, that you know was not manufactured. It wasn't coincidental. There's a, there's a thrill of knowing I communicated with God. And, and so often in the church, that thrill isn't there. It, it becomes a chore, it becomes a duty. It's something you gotta discipline yourself to do every day, rather than just realizing, I get to talk to God, and I get to see Him answer. And our hope is that people just get excited about prayer again. When you can compare it to any storm that happens in your life, um, a death of a loved one, loss of a job, um, unexpected, trials that happen that test you to your limits and you're basically you're afraid you're alone you don't know what to do um, so that's what we kind of like to see within the whole series is that these are really just kind of allegories for for things that happen from a time in which you really do find community and the joys that come from that and the fruits that come from that to the times in which you're out alone on a hillside in the middle of a storm and it's raining and you don't know where to go and you can't find shelter and what is the choice that you're going to make at that point. Stand right there. Ooh. Do we have hand warmers? Oh. The best part about being an actor. <laughs> Freezing. Does anybody and want a towel? I didn't. Yeah. This is my hand. Uh, we've got a water truck. Um, I think it's like 4,000 gallons, and it's pumping some water up to a couple of rain towers. And uh, basically, those rain towers have about a 20 to 40 foot throw. We've got some lightning, as you can see, it's happening right now. So the idea is we're just kind of try to cover the area in which our actors will be. Um, and really, we're going to stay really tight, a lot of close-ups, a lot of handheld to really be in the storm with them um, and almost kind of experience their panic, their fear. Uh, we're basically going to be doing uh, probably about 10 or 11 shots, maybe two of them. We'll be, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, 10 or 11 shots that'll be in the actual cut. Hopefully it looks torrential and hopefully it looks as scary as we can possibly get it. Prayer is a time where we draw near to God, but as Ecclesiastes 5 says, it's not to just draw near and start talking, but it's draw near to listen. It's drawing near to submit yourself to your Creator. 